Hey, what's up everybody? So I've been a software developer for a long time. I've made my living off of this for 20 plus years. I've even written some games in the App Store in the past and participated in some game jams and used Unity and some other uh, game frameworks. Recently, I've really been wanting to learn Unreal Engine, uh, as those of you that watch this channel already know. And so uh, in this video, I'm going to go through some of the resources that I used uh, as a existing programmer of how it helped me to change from application development sort of over into the game development mindset a little bit more and some of the great uh, learning resources that are out there that are for free from Unreal Engine themselves as well as some other uh, community resources. Uh, just things that really helped me kind of pick up on this and get up to speed where I could make a game of my own just within six months. So anyway, uh, let's get into some of the things. So it was probably about nine months ago when I first downloaded Unreal Engine and the first thing I did was this project. I got some assets from Kitbash 3D that I was using in Blender and downloaded a couple of models from uh, TurboSquid or one of those 3D sites uh, and pieced together some animations, figured out how to do this with the sequencer and I really just kind of wanted to make a short film type thing. I had done this a little bit in Blender and I wanted to experiment with Unreal Engine using the, uh, the lighting and everything else, the camera effects, and this is kind of what I came up with. Um, so I was pretty happy with this and pretty excited about how quickly this came together. This maybe was two or three nights worth of work to build this type of thing. I've got this full video and a breakdown on my channel um, if you want to check that out. So the next thing I did was uh, a remake of a Star Wars fan film that I had made with my kids uh, the previous year, uh, doing some live action and some VFX, and I wanted to recreate the whole thing in Unreal Engine. And so with this, I wanted to use metahumans and uh, some uh, facial capture, and um, so basically I took the same story and uh, recreated it in Unreal Engine and it came out okay. This was, you know, kind of my first real full project with everything and, uh, you know, I would do lots of things differently now, but I'm pretty happy with it for, you know, my first project. And like with most of these other things that I'm showing here, there's full breakdowns of how I created all of this, uh, all the steps I took with Unreal Engine, and in this case DaVinci Resolve. Uh, they're all on the channel, and feel free to ask questions in the comments if uh, you have any, and I will try to get back and uh, answer those questions. So I thought metahumans were pretty cool, so I spent some more time learning how to make myself as a metahuman and how to add glasses and attach them to the face, and there's a video on the channel for that if you're interested. So at this point, I took a break from Unreal Engine for a while, did some other things, moved, got set up in a different place. And when I came back to it, I really wanted to learn how to make a game. And so I looked around a little bit and I found Ruben Ward had made uh, several different remakes of classic games using his survival game framework. And um, this was all done in C++ and it was exciting to me because I've always kind of wanted to learn C++ and I've learned you know Java and C Sharp and lots of other languages and I've never really had very much experience with C++ outside of like Objective-C or something. And so um, I bought his course and uh, I'll put a link in the description. Uh, it's very good if you already have an experience in, in programming. If you don't, it might be a little bit much. Uh, but I learned a lot about how to structure a game and how um, to uh, integrate components and how to build reusable things and basically how the whole thing worked and so it was a uh, very eye-opening for me in the way that blueprints and C++ can work together in your game. So another great resource for me has been the Unreal Online Learning Courses. Uh, I've set a goal for myself um, for this year to uh, complete 100 of these courses uh, and so far I'm at I think 33 or so. I've learned a lot from these. Um, uh, you know, anywhere from, you know, facial capture to cinematography to just some C++ tips working with data. Lots of stuff on this. Um, so here is what I have completed so far. Yeah, so you can see I've completed 33 badges so far, a variety of things. Um, some of the stuff I had already learned before, and so it was a little bit easier for me to um, understand it and pass the assessments and earn the badge. Um, I've still got a long way to go. There's a lot more content here. Some of this will be in ArchViz, and I'm only slightly interested in that, but I probably will learn it anyway just to, to sort of round out my knowledge. Um, but there's lots of stuff in here. Some of it is dated. I'm hoping that they will add some more stuff for Unreal Engine 5 uh, in the near future. Well, I hope this video has given you some ideas on where to look for some more learning resources for Unreal Engine. Uh, make sure you subscribe if you like this type of thing. I'll be doing a lot more Unreal Engine tutorials in the near future. And thanks for watching.